accident at work that wasn't my fault. And now, I can't stop writing to dangerously underqualified, self-proclaimed gurus, agony aunts and counsellors, and following their ridiculous advice. So what do you suggest I do, Trudy? You came to the right place. So let's think about your problem. First of all, you say you're from South Thanet, so my first suggestion is move. Get as far away as you possibly can, maybe North Thanet, for example. If your accident at work really wasn't your fault, I'm sure you were straight on the phone to ka and co, or some other nasty ambulance-chasing outfit looking for compensation, the most cynical three syllables in the English language. But who are all these people who claim to have had accidents at work that aren't their fault? Most people used to get through a working life entirely free of them, didn't they? Before compensation, that is. I would never, ever suggest that these people are trying it on, but Clearly, these people are trying it on. I've been an international celebrity life coach to the stars for as long as I can remember, though, as you know, I've got a terrible memory, so it may have been only a couple of weeks. But I've never had an accident at work that wasn't my fault. I take full responsibility for all of them, especially the one involving the guinea pig and the hair gel. Oh, where was I? Oh yes, I do have a friend. Let's call her Angela although her name's really Dita, who had an accident at work that wasn't her fault. It was the snake's fault. They eventually had to tie its tail to a stick and gradually wind it in. Lucky Dita. I mean, Angela. It's a wonder the snake didn't ask for compensation. <laughs>